company I used to purchase a luxury item um, it was pre-loved they do have brand new items with tags dust bags and boxes and receipts but because mine was pre-loved and a little bit older um, it didn't come with any of that it came with the dust bag but anyway the company I used to purchase my item is Vestier Collective Vassier is a French term for cloakroom, and cloakroom is basically a room where luxury items or really nice items are stored temporarily. And basically, this company is based in Paris, France. They do have flagship stores in New York and in Los Angeles. So if you're ever in Manhattan or in LA, you can definitely go to their showroom to purchase and actually see these items so what do they sell they sell luxury items as i mentioned i've seen apple products i've seen um, vintage products from every big house fashion brand that you can think of um, today i will be showing you my little bag that i purchased um, the reason why i purchased this bag because in 2014 i actually purchased a louis vuitton and it was stolen from me someone came into my house and stole my Louis Vuitton um, and my Prada bag. So I figure it's been a while. We're in 2020. Um, I was celebrating something that I'll tell you about a little bit later. That's another video. Um, I was celebrating something and I think I got a bonus from my job and I had a little bit of money to spare. So I went ahead and purchased the bag. So this is the bag. I have a Louis, Louis Vuitton um, Speedy 30. You can see it has the wrap around. You can see it's pretty old because of the handles. And one thing about Speedies or any Louis Vuitton bag um, that has the monogram it, with time it gets really brown so brand new bags are not this brown you actually purchase it and it's very very light but because of the natural oils in our hands it makes it it turns it brown so I'm gonna give you the specs on this bag and like I said um, my bag was from 2007 and I'll show you how to figure out what year and where your bag was manufactured so first things first, let's talk about the outside of the bag. So all real Louis have a wraparound effect um, when it comes to the bag. And what I mean by wraparound effect is that it never ends. So it doesn't stop and then picks up. If you've ever seen a fake bag, it'll stop right here and it'll pick up. Versus a real bag, it starts from one end and then just wraps all the way around okay um where was the bag manufactured so you will find out two ways where your bag was manufactured on the outside outer flap it'll tell you Louis Vuitton Paris France and then on the inside um like I said I've owned two or three so I know how to read them so in the inside of the bag is very immaculate. Whoever owned this bag, they took care of it. Um, so you don't see any pin stains. In most Louis, there's like pin stains, it's grease stains, it's gum, it's all kind of stuff. But whoever had this bag, they took very, very good care of it. Now, how to find out where your bag was made and what year. So when you open the bag, Older bags, it'll probably be in the middle, but this one is right here. So you'll see TH, okay, and then the numbers. So 
I'll do an in-depth video on how to read the numbers, but I know for a fact that my bag was made in 2007 because of the zero and the seven. Correct. This earring does not want to stay on because I can't find the bag. And I was trying to be cute for y'all, but she want to embarrass me today. People so embarrassing. She's just so embarrassing, y'all. Okay, back to the bag. So yeah, like I said, the bag is immaculate. Immaculate. No stains in there. Not one. Not one. My bag came with a lock and key. Most most of you Louis don't have the lock and key. So I appreciate whoever bag this was before me because you took care of it, girl. You did. So my bag came with a lock and key. Um, so the lock says 322 and then the key also says 322. Um, yeah, like I said, I enjoy purchasing from Vestier Collective because they have a vast range of bags so they have anything within your price range to be honest if you're looking for a used speedy you'll find a used speedy if you're looking for birkins because there's a lot of fake ones out there there's a lot of fake ones out there you can purchase a real one it'll be vintage i've seen the cheapest one that i've seen is like five thousand seven thousand dollars and it looks really good because like i said these people they take care good care of the bags that they purchase um so yeah i've seen christian dior flip flops like i said you can buy gently used brand new with tags boxes receipts i've seen chanel vintage for two thousand dollars i've seen it all the way up to ten so it really this website fits every price range every salary you can think of so like i said i did not even though i was celebrating i did not feel like spending two thousand dollars now i have a lot to celebrate about and that's going to be <laughs> in a separate video but um this bag right here with the speedy 30 gently used pre-loved was only $500. Now, what I will say is to people who um, wear fake bags, fake it till you make it, girl. It's just not for me. I would rather buy a pre-loved bag. Um, and yes, you may not have the experience of sitting down in Louis Vuitton or Chanel and sipping the champagne and looking at other items and taking pictures in a store, which you can't do because anyway, because of COVID. So you may not have the luxury of having that experience, but if you are on a budget and you want nice things because you deserve nice things, go to the website. Find you something nice. You can manifest it if you if you feel like it. But like I say, the website, they definitely have everything for everyone's budget. So you don't have to sport a fake bag. You can just invest in something that's a little older, i.e. my bag. And um sport it like it's brand new girl, because guess what? If you sat me beside someone who purchased their bag i want to say two years ago and they wore it every damn day for this to get the oils and stuff you wouldn't be able to tell because all the classic lvs and the new lvs look alike unless they change something on the outside you're not gonna be able to tell so sport your genuinely use your vintage bags um ditch those fake bags because you can afford to get you something within your price range i'm telling you if you just take your time and go on that website you will find you something i promise you 
So I have questions for you guys. Have you guys ever used Vestive Collective? Um, I know there's other websites that you can buy gently. I'm over it. I'm over it. I know there's other websites where you can buy gently used items, purchase gently used items. There's Fashion Pile. Fashion Pile is kind of expensive. Um, but they have brand new and gently used just like that still collective. <sighs> I'm just so over these earrings. I tried to come on camera and be cute for you guys. But look what's going on. These things don't want to stay on. They're absolutely cute. I lost the bag. So I was trying to be slick and have them on. These are from my sister's website for every unicorn fashion and i'll put the link down to these earrings below um my shirt is from forever 21 i won ruby woo ruby woo by mac but yeah that's all i got for you guys if you have used best year collective please 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 leave a comment below i want to know your experience i think my next bag was it'll probably be a lady dior bag like i really 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 want a lady dior bag or a chanel um timeless or classic bag if i get a lady dior bag it either has to be black or red with um gold finishing and if I get a Chanel bag, it has to be black or red with gold finishing. One day, <laughs> when I start making 70K, I will fly to Perry just so I can buy these things out of the store. But until then, I will continue to buy gently use gently love pre-owned luxury items unless it's like perfume or shoes then i'm just gonna buy out the store you know there's places you can buy bloomingdale's neiman's sephora you know but yeah leave your comments below if you want to see more videos about my gently use bags leave a comment below don't forget to like and subscribe Tell a friend to tell a friend, then come back again.